That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I hate stuck up cunts, Michael. She- oh, but that like old Hollywood where it's like, meh, she ain't fill up my pussy with your cum, meh. Yeah, that's not going to work for me at all. That's no. that one and uh, come on, Jace, fucking chuck it in me dumper. It's like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. I don't want to chuck it in your dumper. Come in me, me vagina. <laughs> <laughs> If you practiced and you're really hungry, that you could make your eyes eat. Like shove a hot dog in my eye socket? Sometimes when I'm really high and I look at a banana, I think, if I put my eyeball on the banana, how long would it take for me to digest the the banana? Can't you absorb it through osmosis? Can't you like, well, not through, like, through absorption. Like, can't uh, can't you take acid through your eyeball? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can drink water through your eyeball, right? And alcohol. You can pour shots yeah. of vodka into your eye. Can you really? Mm-hmm. Right. That so seems pleasant. Could you do it fast enough to not die is the question. Could you get liquid nutrition? Right. Athletic greens, for example. In the eye. Enough. You wouldn't need to eat. To d- I don't think so. You might be right. Yeah. But what about if you practice because uh, at one point, there was a fish that grew arms, Michael, and grew out onto the ground. Like That's a right. merman turned mm-hmm. into a monkey, and monkey turned into a man. Yeah. Cannot my eye not turn into a mouth? <clears throat> you just have to believe. That's what I'm saying. Like, if yeah. I really believe, and then mm-hmm. I also get a wife that really believes, and then we fuck and make a baby, and we tell the baby, you eat with your eye, and then next generation, and so on, and then t- eventually. Yes. This is Four my son, Imus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like forced evolution yes you yes. can pop one eyeball out and like spoon in like some mashed potatoes right no that might not be the technique but i still understand i feel like maybe taking your eye out my i think you could get your eye to be like a thing that sucks stuff in you put it up against it and you just yeah. like get a piece of banana hmm frogs swallow with their eyes see they're already doing it. What about if we had sex with frogs? And then Way one day, you. you fucked a frog. Remember that <laughs> monkey that fucked a frog? I do. Who do you think was having a better time, the frog or the monkey? The monkey. Right. Do you think the frog was dead? I do. Does it make it worse or better? By the end of better? it, yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, he died by getting fucked by a giant monkey? Because yeah. if you're a frog, every monkey's giant. Yeah. Well, I guess they are very teacup monkeys. So that would be like regular sex. They'd be like. That'd yeah. be a compatible relationship. Could be kind of hot. Right. <laughs> yeah, frogs, okay. frogs are like nature's special. If they were sisters, that yeah. could be really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> like if, if the shoulder monkey, if his dad married the frog's mom, so they're not technically related. Right. And if the one on the monkey is giving him encouragement while he's fucking his mom, that'd be pretty horny too. <laughs> oh, if the frog mom walks yeah. in yeah. and it's like, no, but... Oh. oh, you're doing it all wrong. Yeah, yeah, do it like this. Let me show you how monkey should <laughs> fuck frogs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Katie, <laughs> write that down. That's the fucking promo. Like, Way I'm, ahead I'm of done you. with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there anybody that's ever eaten anything not through their mouth? These are the questions I need No, I understand. Answer. I understand. Well, Kevin got wasted through his butt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Everybody knows about. So the question is, what can you get in 
like that's a, a nutritious or altering substance like through what Gatorade hole, in a tampon what is the most absolute Pedialyte might be better actually Jamba Juice up the ass I wonder how much your ass eats like Tully was saying earlier when we were talking about the eating eye um, how much can, can your ass eat enough food to stay alive probably not well, and the thing with the the alcohol, right, is that it skips your digestive system and goes straight to your bloodstream, and that's why you get so wasted, man, right? Yes. So if you put a protein shake up your ass, you wouldn't actually derive the nutrition from it. Oh, that's a good point. So the same, ditto, ditto like a tampon smoothie. I tried to eat jizz with my ass. It came out. Yeah. There's yeah. nutrients in that too, right? It's like hungry, Apparently hungry hippos. Like, ah, but then it just falls right. Back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We- women get smarter when they eat cum, right? Yes. Right. That's right. If you want to get real smart, girls. It's got antidepressive properties in it. It makes cum makes you happy? Mm-hmm. And a small amount of protein. Everybody wins on that one. Yeah. I don't know why we're not blowing each other more. There's a lady in Ireland that ate a bunch of batteries. That's different. <laughs> that probably made her stupider. Yeah. Well, and she probably didn't have that many IQ points to spare. To See with. David yeah. Blaine eat nails? No. He ate nails? Finger or bang bang? What? Finger or bang bang? Bang bang. Bang bang nails? What the fuck's a fingernail? <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, no. What? I missed it. What happened? What's a fingernail? Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. That, don't put that in. <laughs> fuck. Right, I'm awake. It's cool. Oh, my God. So, where were we? Blaine. Yeah, David Blaine mm-hmm. ate a bowl of nails. Then he snotted a couple out. Then he threw up a couple. And then he threw up a f- frog, a live frog. Had he... Still had nails in his stomach. Had he ingested that on camera, or did that just so no. happen to be in his stomach? Yeah. Frog came just out of nowhere for no reason. That's a pretty pretty solid layer to add to your magic trick. It's... Like, you're you're blowing nails out of your nose, then all of a sudden, like, oh, barfed up a frog, back to nails. I mean, how the fuck does he do that? Okay, this is where I bring up that I used to know a girl who knew him when he was a kid and had the pictures to prove it. Had a picture of him doing magic at her older sister's birthday party with a fucking wizard hat on. Little yeah. baby Blaine. And she was like, you don't understand. There's something really weird there. He called me one time. She said, David Blaine called her. He was already famous, but just having a conversation. And he goes, hey, what's wrong with your dog right now? And she looks over and she said, my dog was like completely sideways. Like, I don't know how or why he did that. He said it was on all fours, but it was parallel to the ground. And the one time I met him, he went into a bathroom by himself, and I heard him yelling at himself in a mirror before he did a radio appearance with Carson Daly. No, He's just a different guy. Man, to be good on Carson Daly is not really that important. This wasn't like a, hey, you're about to go into ice for two yeah. weeks. I'm going to go have a talk with the man in the mirror. Yeah. I just think he yells at himself in mirrors. I'm going to start doing that. Maybe that's where he gets his mystical powers from. He's got mystical powers. Is that what we're saying? Is he actually magical? Okay. Here's what I'll say for Blaine. I feel like that's what you're saying. I'll say if any of the famous magicians actually have some connection to something yeah. truly weird. Yeah, this is a big... It's not David Copperfield. No, I saw, not... I saw David Copperfield. He doesn't have any skills. It's not Chris Angel. Nope. It's not Penn and Teller. No. If any of them does have something right. truly weird, Nicole, coming out, it is David Blaine. He has successfully cultivated that image, at least in my mind. I thought you were going to say Nicole. Um, wait, what's the chick that was married to Tom Cruise? Nicole, Nicole Kidman? Nicole Kidman? Yeah. Cause she's pretty magical. Like, how does she do it? How is she her? Have you know how s- old she is? Have you seen her AMC commercial? I've seen it like. Ten times. What's AMC? Yeah, people clap for it now. Uh, the the movie theater chain. 
What does she say on that? They it paid is, her like so douchey, like a lot, probably a lot of money to do one hour of work where she walks in all like, "I'm Catherine Hepburn's dead. You got me now instead." And she's uh-huh. like, "We go to the movies because the movies remind us of the magic of the movies." That's what she said, <laughs> pretty much. Well, she's trying to throw acting a bone. Yeah, it's kind of like Tony Hawk trying to tell the kids, "Hey, everybody, don't forget to skate. It's healthy." And yeah, yeah. You know. Well, I, and all, I, and all the, I get it. And all the screen actors don't want movie theaters to go away. Right. Because they didn't grow up dreaming of being on Netflix. Right. I it's like, it. yeah, I won't do it. But there's like certain people that are to have certain jobs and they talk about that job being the most heroic job in the world. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's because you're in it. And right. you, you really just want to say that you're a hero, mm-hmm. but you don't, you're just doing it in a roundabout way. You love you so much that you don't. You want your scene to be the biggest, so that you can be the biggest. Right. They're supposedly yeah, I, I making. No, a, I have uh, no idea what scene you're talking about right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Sorry. They're supposedly making a a sequel to that Nicole Kidman the AMC commercial. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the guy that wrote the mean? first one is apparently like an Oscar nominated writer. I'm sure. I'm sure. And it's at a point now where when I go see movies at AMC, people it's it's become its own like Rocky Horror Picture thing. People start clapping and cheering. It's fucking ridiculous. For Nicole Kidman talking about the theater. Because it's 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 so laughable. It's, it's a borderline SNL can skit. We play, we, can we play can that we? on this? God, I, I don't think there's any copyrighted music, is it? I really don't, I don't see why not. Like She's if like, it's on TV, is it on TV or only in the theater? Only in the theater. So we can't get the audio anyway. I I'm bet sure it's, it's, I on, bet it's YouTube, on YouTube. But I wouldn't be surprised if they've run it as a TV ad as well. Would it really fit in the show if we added it and we couldn't talk over it? I don't know. So I'm really, I want to see it. Just a little bit of it to see what the fuck you guys are talking about. It's her just like staring at movie clips in a theater all by herself. And she's staring at the screen like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like overreacting to things happening. Yeah. And then the, the, the line everybody laughs at is she's like, somehow heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Look, some people really like movies, Kevin. It's weird because yeah, she's you probably are, one of them. You're a movie douche as well. It's weird that you're talking shit on her for being fantastical in a movie theater. Didn't what's the girl that the Manson family cut her baby out? She Sharon would, Tate. She would go to the movies to see herself in the movie. Yeah. And you know, the and, and she was so she used to go to movies and watch movies by herself because of how much it brought the the thrill it brought to her to be in the theater. I mean, I go to the movies by myself all the time. It's loser. just it's so it's so it's weird to loser. have to. Sit. He doesn't always jerk off. You make out with old men a lot, though. That's how you get COVID all the time. Well, that's also how I get free movie tickets. <laughs> I mean, COVID making out with old men, free movie tickets. I don't know. But like she, I've heard of better deals. It's one of those things where it's like I'm already here. I paid the admission. I'm sitting in the seat, and I have to sit through movie propaganda. It's like just start the goddamn movie. Yeah, why is it movie propaganda to say the, to appreciate film? It's just long. It's like it's like a minute long of of just the the most egregious fart sniffing you'll ever see. It's really pretentious, but oh, okay. like I get it. Isn't she pretentious? That's what she's that's huh. what she's there for. She's there to embody to be the physical personification of movie she's star proud of it. glamour. Good for yeah. her. And she's wearing like shiny clothes and if shit. You're gonna, <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna douche out, you gotta like if you douche out and you hate yourself, yeah. man, what a torturous existence. She just has that, that smile, that, like that Jeff Goldblum smile, which is like you're Does she a, look good? You're uh yeah. she's doesn't look old though, right? She's she's starting to look old. Oh. Oh. But she's like becoming a stately old lady. Like she's she's definitely like like Catherine Hepburn yeah. got old, but she, she looks was still regal. like glamorous regal. She seems like the queen Catherine of the Catherine Hepburn movies. is not hot. Nicole Kidman is hot. Like I would fuck Nicole Kidman. I wouldn't fuck Catherine Hepburn. I mean, when, I when she was young. I mean, sure, but I don't want to really care. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm answering it the way that I would answer it. Yeah, because I would fuck anybody, especially if there's somebody unique. Yeah, but I'm not. I I never saw it in her. Ever, I've watched a Even lot. Even the of lady old movies. that played her in the um, Harold, who's the guy that's got the freeway off ramp, he drinks his pee. Freeway off ramp drinks it. Howard Hughes. Yeah, yeah. Howard Hughes is. She was going. He was in love with Catherine Hepburn, and yeah. this lady that's hot played Catherine Hepburn. And, and because Blanchett. she because she played Catherine Hepburn, she was not hot to me. I don't think that accent would be 
something that would be up your alley. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I hate stuck up cunts, Michael. She oh, would... but that like old Hollywood where it's like, meh, she fill up my pussy with your cum, meh. Yeah, that's not going to work for me at all. That's no. that one and... Uh, Come on, Jace, fucking chuck it in me dumper. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to chuck it in your dumper. Come in me, me vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I've always Man. wanted to arrange a dirty talking competition among with just women who listen to this show with uh, particular accents. Yeah. Get a Jersey chick, get a Baltimore chick, get Canadian. a Philadelphia chick, get a Newfie. Got to get an Aussie. Get an Aussie and you just give get them a, all the same phrases. To you got to get the hip hop because I had a hip hop girl talk about you know yo hook that don't you know what I mean hook that bum hole up like I can't remember <laughs> <laughs> yo yo hook that hook, uh, hook so, me up so, in the ass that was a film it was like hook that me up a- in the ass homie and I was like <laughs> wow I I mean okay but fuck don't say it like yeah. that when's the last time you checked your credit score do you like checking your credit score I do. Me too. I love checking my credit score. Mine's awesome. I actually, I'm proud to say, it was it was a rocky road there, but mm-hmm. I got there eventually. Me too. I, I, I know what it's like when you're afraid to know what your credit score might be like. That's why you need to look into the Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. You can build up your credit rating over time with the help of Chime. Members see an increase of 30 points on average, all this with no annual fees or credit checks to apply. So start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up. It takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash Ellis. That's Chime.com slash Ellis. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank NE pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact score may vary and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply except at MoneyPass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or any AllPoint or Visa Plus Alliance holiday shipping season is upon us whatever you are shipping we don't care we just care how you ship and we cannot recommend ship station highly enough are you selling on amazon etsy ebay shopify all of the above every single platform consolidated into one easy to follow easy to use interface plus you get to take advantage of the great shipping discounts they usually reserve for the big boys. That's why we use ShipStation for our products. My wife uses ShipStation for her products. Anybody with a brain uses ShipStation. Ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com today and sign up with the promo code Ellis for a free 60-day trial. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top, and type in code ELLIS. That's right, everybody. Get 60-day free free trial at ShipStation.com slash ELLIS. Thanks, ShipStation, for sponsoring the show. You dated Peppa from salt and Peppa. I did! (laughs) (laughs) I did, and I dated a crocodile, too. So I've I've heard both ends. Oh, my goodness. Me piss flap. (laughs) <laughs> i'll never forget that i was i was that was like what you, first time you ever see a car accident or something when you're a kid i was just minding my own business at a party and this lady said lift lick me left piss flap and i the what whole room the right one? stopped i just went what did you say that that is insane. Was that like an insult? Like suck my left nut? Yeah. Or was it, yeah. Oh, okay okay yeah. i thought i didn't know if she was like no, trying wasn't to seduce in, somebody no, no. No, it was in the. Somebody yeah. was like, "Shut up!" And she was like, "Oh yeah, let me lift, let piss flap, cunt." <laughs> and I'm like, "Wow, <laughs> this is a person." Everybody, we're all in awe and also disgusted. Like I was like, "Wow, you're not hot." Yeah, that didn't work. Whatever you were trying to do there, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> that's what you're trying to do. Gross us out. Sound like a longshoreman. Sure. Yeah, right. She wasn't hot either, but I think it's because she'd been working super hard on not being hot by coming up with things like that. I don't know if Jessica Alba told me to lick her left piss flap, I would I would comply. I mean, I guess she could say it in a sexy way, but it's still tough. Like, 
licked lick my left. Why is it a piss flap when we're fucking? <laughs> yeah, any, you know? any sort of flap. <laughs> yeah, you lost. Like everybody, lick I think. Me I think, flap is tough. You I know? think Kevin is one of those people who subscribes to the movement of moist being this particularly disgusting yeah, word. I'm I with think him. I think you can make moist sexy before you can make flap sexy. Yeah, yeah, but it, moist is really for cake. If you've got a moist pussy, I'm, I don't know. I'd yeah, I, I feel like know. boggy is almost more sexy than moist. Right. Lick my boggy piss flap. But I guess what's that song, <laughs> WAP, where they're talking about, you mean this sounds like macaroni and cheese and shit? That's pretty fucking nasty, but people seem to like it like that. I don't know. Wet is fine. Moist. Is there something about the word that. The, that off? song's got a moist in it, doesn't it? it Probably. To. Yeah. Just talking about when you figure out that if you're getting fucked hard, that it sounds like your macaroni and cheese getting stirred up. Everybody knows that. Come I on. know, but you don't say that. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Wait, every, I have every, to grow up because I don't want to talk about macaroni and cheese, <laughs> pussy. What the Wait, fuck? Every, everybody, everybody specifically has acknowledged. Particularly, yes, this sounds like I'm stirring macaroni and cheese right now. I thought that that was common knowledge. It's never come up in my travels. Macaroni. I mean, you get it as soon as she says it. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I get the whole, like, the oil well, you know, the, the thing that goes in that looks like a gigantic thing that you use on a kick drum. That... <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I get it. You ever make girls <laughs> fart out of their vagina yeah, with hell your yeah. penis? Yeah, it's yeah bro. <laughs> I like it when girls get embarrassed by that, and then I'm like... Let me get the rest of that air out of there, you know? Yeah. Don't be ashamed. Yeah. I was watching this porn the other day, and this guy was, um, like, banging this girl from behind, and she queefed, and the guy just started, like, busting out laughing. Mm -hmm. And it was like, man, you do this for a living. Like, yeah. you still laugh at queefs? Grow up. Like, I get the word is funny, but, like, if you're having sex and a girl queefs, it's like, like, maybe the first five times it happens, you might have to fight back a giggle, but... What about if you don't know the person that well and you just got introduced to them and then they pussy farted? I feel like the guy laughs to make it easier on the girl. Uh, I feel like the classy move is to just keep going. To ignore it. Yeah. Mm, you got to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah. I first so. of all, to me, that is not even technically a queef. Like, a queef is the mythical occurrence when a woman farts. From. Well, you know, women can suck air. I wonder if yeah. they can drink with their vaginas. Because I used to date a girl when I was real young where she went <laughs> with her pussy. Yeah. Which means she sucked in air and blew it out instantaneously. Right. So does that like mean if I gave Bismarcky. her a milkshake, would she get some? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like a sexy Bismarcky. Yeah. Yeah, that's more Spinderella than Peppa. But it was still... She was sucking stuff, you guys. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I feel like girls girls that can do that could probably take a drag off of a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. But so, actually absorbing nutrition. Right. That's the final frontier. Yep. Yeah, because the pussy, there's like an ending to it, right? Yeah. Like it doesn't go. It is a dead end, yeah. Is it? I believe so. It doesn't go. How far in? Does it go uterus? Oh, oh wait. On. Where else would it go, Jason? No, but the cum has to swim up to the eggs, so there is. So you some, got it got the, the fucking way. the ram's head. <laughs> yeah. So you you right. come in the box, oh my God. and then it goes up, and it goes into the left or the right ram's, the the horns. Yeah, the wishbone. Yeah, up in the wishbone, <laughs> Jacksons. <laughs> and that's the end, right? But there isn't. There's a piss hole. That's got to go away. That's like near the vagina and then it like twirls off into the organs or some shit, right? Yeah, that's yeah. in the front, so it doesn't really count. I picture... Vaginas are fucking crazy, man. They're nuts. Uh, they're yeah. not nuts. They're vaginas. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I picture that there's like a Dr. Seuss contraption inside of women that goes from the back of the vagina all the way to the butthole. Was a butthole. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a whack. Okay. It's like a wacky horned instrument. Like butthole goes all the way into the intestine, right? It goes straight up to the mouth. No, it doesn't. If you interspaced <laughs> yes, in does. a girl's butthole, you could. What's interspaced? When Dennis Quaid got really, really tiny and went inside. Oh, Martin okay. Shorts. Thank you for yeah. Now yeah. I'm back. Yeah. If you go you in run the, into the eye of the penis. If you go Sorry. in, if you go in the butthole, butt. you could interspace all the way to the mouth. Right. Right. 
Didn't a rat do that once on South Park? Yeah, Lemmy Winks. That's right. Yep. He wouldn't give up. And that's half the battle. For sure. See a lady got her head eaten by a shark in front of her whole family? No. Yeah. No, I sure didn't. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're all just swimming, minding their own business. And the kids were there. And the mom and the dad are family people. There's like aunties or some shit. And they, they went to get some fucking shellfish, abalone, you know, fucking cannolis, picking something off something. And they're going to make barnacle stew. Yeah. They were going to make barnacle stew as they do. <laughs> Out of sea cannolis. On vacation, <laughs> sea cannolis. That's right. And then, um, so she was minding her own business. And then a, gi- a gigantic great white shark came over and thraddle- throttled her. And everybody saw it. And then they went to swim over to help her. And then the great white came back and ate her head in front of him. He bit her head off, Michael. And Did you see video it. of this? Nah. I just saw it on TikTok. Man. But it's true. Google it. Faces Call of me death a has fucking a TikTok. Liar. It's a fucking real thing. Sharks eat people. I just feel like the shark didn't want to eat her head. I don't feel like... I guess sharks don't really chew. They're more of just like putting it in their belly and the belly does the chewing kind of thing. Right. Isn't it like a like the, the owl thing where the owl will eat a whole rodent and then eventually I think they cough back up the shit that they couldn't digest oh. and it's like... A mess of snakes do that, right? Fur and bone. Yeah. Do snakes do that? I don't know. They don't. No, they they, they shit it out the back. Yeah. yeah. But they, does that mean they've got acid that eats bone? Yeah. So that's what sharks have. They have because sharks eat uh, license plates, according to Jaws. Yeah, I imagine if if it actually severed that woman's head, because I always remember hearing that the serrated teeth and the rows of them yeah. make it so they could like like wiggle wiggle their jaws and do like a sawing motion. Yeah. But if the head got severed, I was almost picturing it like when you ever see those videos of hippos at the zoo when they throw them a, a watermelon yeah, yeah. and they just chomp it and it spills out all over the place. Yeah. Maybe he just busted her head open like a giant oh, I didn't watermelon. even think of that. It seemed like he got a hole from what I heard as he came up on the front end and instead of getting half of the body, he just got the head. Because hmm. it seemed like the story goes that his whole fa- that her whole her whole family saw her with no head. That's pretty fucked up. It is eating shit with bones is no way to live. I am not jealous of any creature that eats things bones and all. Anytime I've ever eaten something that you can't eat the bones, I always wished I didn't. Even a shrimp, and it's not even bones. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, what the fuck is a bone shrimp? Well, you can like shrimp bone. I mean. Chinese people will have fried shrimp in the shell. And yeah. you're just supposed to eat the shell. Yeah. And you can. Yeah. Mm, yeah, nice. I've seen those people eat the heads and shit. It's not my not my thing. But yeah. I have had steaks and chops and shit where back when I was a younger lad and barbecues would burn and shit, I would eat a lot of the bone. Like I would eat so much of it that I would start eating the like I earned the eat the burnt bits and then the bone be burnt and I'll fucking smash into that a little bit. Oh. I used to be into that. Chops, yeah. mate. I love cho- I, lo- I love a good chop. <laughs> I don't even know. I believe that would have been a pork chop. Because you can't have... Well, can you have from, a cow chop? You never really call it that. Where you're from could just as easily have been a lamb chop. Oh, yeah. You're very lamby people. I, yeah, we are. No, I was. Because yeah. we got we fuck sheep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If we're going to fuck sheep, we're going to eat it. It's only, sure. it's only right. Waste yeah. not, want not. Yeah. Hey, I had a question for you guys. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm I'm very easily duped. Is this going to be a fucking question? No. Okay. I, I, but I get duped all the time by stuff. And I, I like to present this stuff with you because you guys tend to keep me from getting duped. Oh. We're very straight. I don't think you should be asking me, but the rest of the room might help. We're very straight smart. I get douched. Everyone says get, that about us. I, get, I just got <laughs> ripped off yesterday. Yeah. Oh. How did you get ripped off? You got Somebody scammed? opened an account on my PayPal or some shit. Oh no! They have like a credit card, and they've been spending money. Fuck! Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Like cause, five grand or some shit. Because I've been getting, I get so many emails from. There's at least five, at least five other Michael Tullys or Schmeichel Tullys out there around the world that give out my email address. I've gotten so many weird emails over the years. I got kicked out of a bocce league. I've, I've been down this road, but I got a thing. Somebody just booked some travel in Birmingham, Birmingham, England. And I just got all of the confirmations. But now Kayak is sending me, hey, here's shit to add 
to your fucking trip in Birmingham. The canoe guys? No, kayak is like uh, all of the like Expedia and Orbit. Oh, okay. All in one place, and like I do have a kayak account, so I'm starting to think that maybe for once somebody is booking travel to the worst part of England with my money. So yeah, we're definitely the kind of people you want to talk to about not getting ripped off. Okay, great. So I was watching this video on YouTube, and an ad played before it, and this bearded guy that looks like he could have been a roadie for like Imagine Dragons or something was saying that we're all full of rotting poop and he had a magic pill that would make all of that rotting poop fly out of your ass i got a magic hose that does it too but sure what is it i don't know do you think it's a good idea to get pills that make rotting poop shoot out of you no no i don't trust that guy <coughs> well i just think that isn't old poo rotting no some is more rotting than others I mean, they have. As soon as you make poo in your stomach, it begins to rot. Yes, and I'm led to believe that in in Japan, in, if not throughout Asia, they have a slang word making fun of Western people's poop because we eat more animal products yeah. than they do, and like the the meat shit starts to go bad. Oh, come yeah, to think it of it, what the fish doesn't? It comes out. It's not as dense. It comes out easier. Yeah. It's similar to plant-based diet. You do shit easier. You shit more at first because you got to make an adjustment, but you don't push as hard, which means it would be easier on your organs, easier on your asshole. It is a healthier way to live. I agree. That, I've, I've there's no doubt that. about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's my take on that. My impression is that there there is stuff. Whether or not this guy's poop pill is the magic pill or not is a different story, but there Who is Who was stuff. this guy? I don't know. He's just a guy with a YouTube ad. Yeah. Don't listen to anybody what's his on credib- YouTube. Yeah, what's his, um, what's his background? Like, what is he? Is he a, is a scientist or? I think Imagine Dragons vouches for him. He's just a dude. Yeah. He's a guru. Uh, no, he, he could have even just been like a hired figurehead for this company. Did he look fit? Yeah. Okay. But he said, and he kept saying rotten poop. You are filled with rotten poop. This stuff will get all the rotten poop out of you. There's been teas and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. They claim to do it. Nothing gets the job done like these pills. You'll lose weight and all of that rotting poop inside of you is bad. Like it harms your body. So you want to get that stuff out. Did you know the guy that invented P90X can't walk? He did too many burpees. He's got like a disease or some shit. No. Oh. I'm, I have that mixed up with insanity. Insanity guy. P90X fine, was right? first. Okay. He invented it all. Huh. Even though he didn't invent it, when he came out, I was like, yeah, that's called circuit training, fuckface. Yeah. But he just made, he's like, I got one for, you know, people that don't do MMA. So I've got like training stuff that is exactly the same as circuit training. It's all boxers, all fighters, all athletes do it. But this one's like more for no skills. Yeah. Like when you learn this and you can do it every time without fail, you still can't use it to do anything but yeah. p90x so i think that having like like i always think of poop as like you got a big tube right yeah. and it's full of shit you know yeah. and every time you eat you stick something in one end of the tube and that pushes a little bit out the far end of the tube yeah right and i think that let's just say somebody invents something that will clean that out entirely i believe that that could be a real thing but as soon as you clean that thing out it's that tube is just going to start refilling again. And I don't know how much value there actually is in cleaning it out one time. It's not going to stay that way. You know, I always use the analogy of like really scrubbing the sidewalk. Like, yeah, you could get your sidewalk as clean as your kitchen if you really wanted to, but why would you bother doing that? It can't stay that way within 24 hours. It's just going to be shitty all over again. So you're kidding yourself if you think that this magical cleaning out, you don't have, John Wayne didn't have poop in there from the 1940s. It's just a big tube and shit gets pushed along through it. You are the shrimp. And every time you eat, it goes in the mouth and you have that shit line going all the way through you and you could fucking cleanse a shrimp and the poop line would be gone and within two days, the poop line would be full again. You don't think poo could get stuck to the wall? Yeah, like the flaps. What flaps? I think there's like flaps and folds inside. You think this is going to scrub 
the inside. This is gonna be a what pipe. What if it sticks it's gonna to be a the pipe inside. cleaner? One of the know. one of the it's turds. pretty moist in there. Yeah, I'm just oh, saying, bro. Yeah. Maybe two poos get jammed in the thing, and one starts to cling to. Maybe, maybe, but I side. say you clean even if you had uh like a pipe cleaner that you could put all the way through there, and you made your guts as pristine as they were. Well, they were never because you've been digesting shit since before you were born. It would. This is this is my cleaning the sidewalk analogy it'll more shit will just get stuck on there like eight hours later yeah it's so does that un- mean when i was with my war. mom i was like pooping in her no that's why it's kind of a flawed a flawed thing i don't think you actually do poop when you're in your mom i used to it all go back in the bag or some shit <sighs> i forget is there something that connects like your ass to her ass no, if, it, it, no, it, for two? if yeah. anything, you send waste back up the umbilicum. Oh, wow, it's a two-way street. My, if anything. Whoa. Yeah. Well, we're not, guessing that. I feel like I knew at some point. I don't you don't know. shit in your mom's vagina. No, 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 that wouldn't work out. No. I've had a baby. It's good to know. It's also possible no that you out. don't shit in there because there is literally no waste. You're using it all. Yeah, you're oh. getting pure nutrition. Oh. You're trying to grow. You're so pretty, like, You're pretty small. What what if I took those doo doo pills like once every six months? Right, you really sure thinking about it? Huh? No poo. Well, I'm, I don't know. Like I feel like the older I get, the more I I sense my own mortality. Like couldn't you just do a cleanse? I I don't know. Isn't that I'm the same really thing? Dumb. I'm just really skeptical. Isn't a cleanse to wash your system out? Yeah, you shit it all out. Except Chocol that or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and you get rid of the toxins, right? Except that when you do a cleanse. Tell me what toxins we're getting rid of, and let's do the fucking toxin test and show me what my toxin number is now. And when I'm done with it three weeks from now, show me that that toxin number is lower. And you don't get to do the test. Some independent uh, expert can verify that. I'm not calling bullshit. I just like my skepticism. You're calling bullshit. My skepticism level goes really up. It's like the the uh, the Stephen Colbert word, truthy. Mm-hmm. When things like they're not true, they just sound really truthy shit that sounds right to people who don't know shit about medicine you can make a lot of money selling shit to people yep. where it's like yeah that sounds like it that makes sense to me it's yep. like talk to somebody who has some fucking medical knowledge about and they may say yeah it's a great i don't know why everybody doesn't do it but there it's always weird to me when people are like you know your 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 doctor's never going to tell you about charcoal yeah it's like well maybe there's a reason why people who have been to medical school don't tell me to eat charcoal <laughs> yeah <laughs> i've had trouble washing my butt out before where i've washed it for like an hour and i'm like i'm pretty sure i cleanse myself yeah there's no more in my system you know maybe there's some up in the neck area but i don't think it's turned to poo yet yeah that's good I think or I don't feel any poo. different. Like the rotting poo is the bit that really stuck with me. Yeah, because they've done shit tons of market research, and that's the phrase that gets that gets its hooks in people. Sure, I would wash turds out before I fought, just to be lighter. I get that. I feel like if you race and you have just the uh, the right amount of gas, not a full tank, your car's lighter. It's faster. Yes, you know. So if I've got enough nutrients to make this fight. And I wash out the back door, so I lose like, you know, half a pound. Yeah. Maybe a pound, depending on what's going on. I just keep thinking, I know the Howard Stern show, what's his name? They had a who poos the most contest. Oh, yeah. High pitch Eric. And and he did a pound. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, he'd been say he hadn't pooed for like two days and he was a giant fat shit machine. Yeah. And it was like, everyone was like, that was a (laughs) lot of shit. And it added up to one pound. So I assume the average person's shitting half a pound. Because he's a beast. Yeah. Remember he called the show at one point? Yes. Yeah. He was trying to branch out. Yeah. Be a parts couple of, of multiple them shows. Jeff the Drunk. A couple of them hit me up. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It was like a little bit of a... They're like, these guys are the next guys. And Howard doesn't have me on all the time. So I'm going to start playing the, playing the field. I could be drunk over here too. <laughs> I thought it was cool because... I'm like, these guys are validating us yeah, as a show. Sure. Absolutely. Even though they're fucking losers that just want free t shirts and money. So it's a fame grab. Again, yeah. speaking of losers, this woman clearly ingested fifty five batteries. Yeah. Over in Ireland. Double A's or what are we talking? Double and triple A. Triple A, no problem. 
They probably come straight out, right? No, they sure don't. As a matter uh, of fact, doctors had to, quote, milk the cylinders from her colon, from her colon to her rectum and then retrieve them from her anus. They went that far? Oh, yeah. They went all the way through. Wow. She she okay? She had abdominal pain mm. and you don't say. This was all backed up in I guess there's like they probably get to once you get good at swallowing batteries, getting them to your stomach is not that hard. Mm. It's just they your stomach can't obviously break them down. Ooh. Oh man. I love that they couldn't even like It's a lot. Cl- wipe away the poo debris on this this napkin before they took the picture. <laughs> I think they probably did clean them up. I was going to say Man, like batteries, like fifty-five batteries. If you put, if you had fifty-five batteries in your hand, that would be weighty. Yeah, no, you're way heavier. Yeah, the woman had a. Why did she do that? She's crazy. Oh, oh, is she like my strange addiction? Like when we used to watch that show, and she's not a magician. She wasn't. She didn't eat them because she was tired. Like, yeah, of course she's a strange (laughs) addiction person. It's an interesting theory, though. (laughs) Her stomach had become distended and was hanging above the pubic bone due to the weight of the batteries. So surgeons actually cut into her abdomen and successfully removed 46 of the 55 batteries. It was the other ones. I found a song that I think I want to... Uh, a, a fight song to walk out to accidentally. Prince. Is it fight song? No, By it's Rachel. Prince. <laughs> <laughs> Controversy. You ever heard of it? Yeah, a whole album <laughs> called Controversy. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had no idea about this song. Even though once it starts playing, I'm like, yeah, I've heard this before. Mm-hmm. But then the whole album, every song after it, I never fucking heard any of them. It's just this weird ass album. That's one song, uh, Controversy. The next one, Sexuality. Like, it's kind of like, uh, it's a weird, like, Controversies seems like he's, uh, the song's about gay and black people and equal rights. Hmm. It was a long time ago. He never said he was gay, though, right? No. But he, he it wouldn't be surprising if he went both ways. For you, what do you think, you guys? It would be surprising to me if he was fully gay. Mm-hmm. But... It would be surprising to me if he had not, at the very least, dabbled liberally. That's all. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like that's... Madonna. I Even think... though you think Madonna is a fake gay. Yes, I do. Right. Yes, I do. I think she desperately wishes she was truly bi, but deep down inside, she knows that she's plain Jane straight. You hate Madonna, though. No, that's not true. I Okay. I, I, Prove I, it. I used to love her. Oh. She's fun. Dude, go watch Desperately Seeking Susan, where she's yeah. basically playing herself. She's fucking awesome. She's... She's fun. She's sexy. She's a badass. She owns the room. She's Bless you. she's hot. I used to have a girlfriend Bitch that I ass. thought looked exactly Maybe. like like her, I, uh, and I, I thought it was an attractive element of her. That yeah, she yeah, looked me just too. Like her. Yeah, she's like smoking cigarettes and chewing gum and eating Cheetos, and it was like as soon as she got into being super healthy and all that, I, she had a fun ectomy. She she was fun. It was a fun thing that she did, and then You're she wanted kombucha ruined Madonna, and then she wanted to be <laughs> taken seriously as an artist or something, and that's when well, she did become an icon. I thought she was still pretty iconic when she was when she was fun, and then. And then Kylie Minogue took the torch. Kylie Minogue is what Madonna would have been like if she had not had a fun ectomy. Wow. Kylie Minogue didn't do that much, though. No, 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 for sure. Like Kylie Minogue was probably almost as big as Madonna in, in England, in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Right, but she here she's the locomotion, and then she had one hit in the she's early two thousands. Yeah, no, she's not. She's not. Okay. She's probably more recognized for being in Meg. Is she and Meg? Yeah. Hmm. I watched Jason that with- Statham's ex-wife. And That's why he comes back, because she's getting attacked by a Meg, and they call him, and he's like, I drink on an island all day. I don't do shit, because one time I was responsible for people dying when a Meg of course. tried to eat a submarine. Yeah. And But fuck it, I'll come back to save her. Oh, all right, all right. I fell asleep watching that with my kid. It's I know. It's a good movie to fall Sacrilege. asleep to. So Madonna is sort of um, linked to, I think, a SoundCloud rapper now. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't she have a new song that has that chick's name in it? Um, that would make sense. But you know, here they are making out. Fuck at yeah! Some fashion Week show. They're gonna fuck. 
They're totally going to fuck, but I feel bad because I think Madonna, the last person who was in a relationship with Madonna that didn't have a wandering eye was probably around 95. Ever since she was with that guy who looked like a bike messenger. I remember that. Uh, guy Ritchie? No, 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 no. Guy Ritchie might actually like her. I don't know. The guy, she had that a kid was real with, love, she, she had a kid with him. <laughs> he wasn't famous somewhere in the 90s. I don't remember his name. I just think at a certain point she was just... Was he an Italian looking guy? Nah, uh, he was Latino guy. I thought his daughter was Italian. Her daughter. You tell me that that chick is like seriously really into Madonna. And yeah, why wouldn't you be? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's, I feel like you're hating a little bit. Madonna My, does look silly there. I'm not saying that they're like, this is, I mean, they, she found her, her companion for life, mm-hmm. but... I could see them having a connection and being attracted to each other and having fun. Like, for real, not for show. Because to me, it seems like either the media got hyped on her again or she's kind of out there again trying to exist. Yeah. Well, so I she- see a lot of footage of her lately yeah. out in, in uh, you know, modeling shows and she seems to be back out there. She uh, and just to have a young, sorry, Michael, mm-hmm. to have a young, super cool tattooed chick and you're 60, it's a good look for her. You know, she probably feels young, makes her feel young and, mm-hmm. and fresh. Yeah. Everybody wins because that star, that whoever that other girl is, she's like, I'm fucking Madonna. Like, this is a good period of my life. Yeah. And, and I, I think that it is a good look for everybody. She but looks I, fun as hell too. She's grabbing her neck and shit. It's pretty. She's Madonna's just kind of running. That's how I am with Katie. Madonna looks like she stole the Bratz stylist from 1998. <laughs> she looks really good in that photo. She does. Yeah. For. She's sixty. She's gotta be close if not. She's older than me. Sixty-four. Wow. No way. Yeah, way. I mean that is. Yes, does she look like a swollen... Yes, but if you're 60 and you look like that, you know, like just some lady that you meet and you're a friend of a friend, you go, yeah, this is so-and-so, and you're like, wow, you're an odd-looking lady, obviously rich with a lot of plastic surgery. And then my friend goes, yeah, she's 62. And I go, fucking hell. I've never wanted to fuck a 62-year-old more. I really do want to fuck an old lady. I just can't pull the trigger. How old? Like 55, 60. <laughs> what? That, that, like, that doesn't even seem that old anymore. No. I thought you were talking about like 85. Yeah, I know. I think Doug Benson's 55. I don't want to have sex with Doug Benson. I love Doug Benson, but not that way. You know what I mean? Just somebody, you know, because I'm such a child and I look such so immature. So, you know, it's like Katie's age women and under you know you mean like like uh, older women are like i would never and i'm not talking about malice i'm talking about somebody who's like a mom and a you know i mean not a tattoo enthusiast just like a lady a normie like, yeah normie i want to yeah i want to bone a normie i want to go to a weird ass house and mm-hmm. you know be used as a Sexual Live, laugh, come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to do good too. You know, like I want to make her jizz a bunch and be like, there you go. Sure. Weird regular lady. Enjoy the rest of your regular life. I know uh, it's, it's, she's a bit younger than the, the age group you just listed, but Kate Beckinsale, who is How dare you? right up on the list of people I would let poop on my head. Like all the Jessica Alba stuff also applies to Kate Beckinsale. She's 49. And she looks, I don't know, you could show me some pictures of her and I'd be like, yeah, she's 28. She looks as hot as she's ever looked. Yeah. Katie and I both follow her, so we're up to speed on her. Katie introduced me to following her because she's got cats and she dresses them up and dances with them and that's cool. Oh, I follow her too. She now feeds foxes. Yeah. She's a she's yeah, a pretty she's good Instagram follow. Yeah. She's got gay friends, tattooed lesbian chicks. So, yeah, I, I like her style, but she is... She's only six years away from fundamentally 55. basic as fuck, and she's she's like a complete and utter knockout. But like if I don't know if you're talking about just like um like an average, not really taking care of themselves, fifty five year old. 
like she's probably older, but the um, Jamie Lee Curtis in Everything Everywhere All at Once, she kind of just like I think she even said it in an interview. She kind of just like let her like belly be her belly and showed it off in the movie and was just like, yeah, I'm just like an average woman here. Is that like the type of 55 year old look you're looking to bone? I don't remember that movie. Yeah, she is on a trajectory of like, you know, I'm not letting myself go, but I'm also not trying to impress anybody and be something that yeah. I'm not. She was on Reno 911 and she had like an eye patch. And yeah, she's like a little, get, she's a little frumpy. Look, if you're super hot and you're 55, yes, I still want to sleep with you. But yeah, I think you're right, Kevin. Someone who looks like, you know, I mean, age has kicked in. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I don't want to. No. That's, oh, that's not. Was that real? I think it was. No, that's fake. I don't think so, dude. Yeah, they put really. Fake. Yeah, yeah, she's. Still that's a fake hot. belly. Yeah. Oh. But no, I don't. I'm not interested in that lady. Still in shape, just older. It is weird how quick you get out of shape, though. If you live a normal life and don't work out as like a a, a thing that is a regular thing, when you get in your fifties. Uh, maybe it's drinking as well, but uh, from this one dating app that I'm that I'm on, it, it's more amusing to me than Instagram sometimes because I just <clears throat> I talk to people and they're like, "Yeah, they're, I'm 48." I'm like, "48? <laughs> you gotta eat better, you know. You gotta do something for yourself." I've officially hit the point where I kind of thought I was I was holding off the sands of time pretty well. Yeah. But I, I no longer get the, um, <gasps> no way. Like when I tell people I'm 40, like, they're just like, yeah. <laughs> I've, I I've finally started looking my age. I don't see it, dude. I feel like you changed your tune very recently on this. And you the first time you expressed this is when you saw photos of yourself doing stand-up. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a glass of cold water being thrown <laughs> in my face. Yeah, but whatever. Who gives a I, fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess. I try to, you know, I feel like there was a time there. I wonder if it's bio accelerator, but I feel like my face looks better these days. I think there was a time there when I was drinking a lot. I remember Andy Dick came in and was like, wow, you look terrible. And I was like, cool, thanks, man. And then that kind of made every photo I saw of myself at the show. I'd be like, man, you do look like shit. Like I used to, my puffy face all the time. My eyes were always swollen. And now it's not like that. And I'm trying to, if I had to pick anything, I probably, probably that, like, I think it actually did something. Yeah. Maybe I kind of slowed it down or, yeah. Or softened it or it's entirely also possible. drinking. I, yeah, that's a, I, was, I feel like yeah. when you drink in your 50, it, if you consistent with it, then you're a little bit hung over. And when you're a little bit hung over in your fifties, your face tells the story. Yeah, you get those hollowed out eyes. Yeah, I'm Something. not I'm not calling bullshit on the bio accelerator. I'm just yes, not drinking makes a huge fucking difference yeah. when you're older than like 35 years old. Yeah. Pretty night and day. You still get stone face, but even that's not as bad. Yeah, you're one of those people that I can't tell when you're stoned. Right. Cuz I always am. That's kind of probably why. Yeah, but you don't you don't have like the droopy eyes. Yeah. Like I when I'm stoned, there's no mistaking it. Yeah. I, my eyes get very puffy and droopy and yeah. I like random parts of me start swelling up. It's I think you might think that, but yeah, I could tell I'll never forget the party <laughs> at pool party at my house where <laughs> we were all hanging out and some people were way more intoxicated than others and you smoked weed and just I was talking to somebody and I look over and you're just by yourself. <laughs> I'm like, how do you figure out how to get by yourself? Just watching one of my friends who was potentially drowning in the pool just because she was so drunk. <laughs> and I was like, I feel like I still have to help. If she drowns, I don't think Kevin's going to save her. I don't think he knows he's here anymore. <laughs> You're just hanging on. And it was very noticeable. Yeah. Yeah, I tend not to smoke weed socially all that much anymore. Because yeah. it makes you antisocial. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get all fucking weird. I don't know, like... I just completely forget how to converse like a normal person. Yeah. You just go to movies by yourself and marvel at uh, Nicole Kidman's bobblehead yeah. and the magic of the silver screen. Being high by yourself is pretty cool too, though. Yeah, it's the best, yeah. 
I'm thinking about doing mushrooms by myself. Yeah. I'm wondering if I keep a lot or just a little bit. A little bit at first. Right. Like I got some some mushroom chocolates, maybe just like eating a square and seeing how I do. Yep. But I keep flip flopping back and forth on whether that's a good idea or a bad one. Well, I mean, do one and then take it from there. Yeah. Keep a Xanax on hand. Pussy. Just know you got it. I mean, you can drink. Just have a beer if you get panicky. Yep. That's true. Yeah, I never understood why drinking alone was such a big deal, too. I love drinking alone. Yep. <laughs> like, I don't look, if you drink all the fucking time too much around people at the bar, that's a problem. If you drink by yourself and get fucked up by yourself all the time, that's a problem. Yeah. But, like, I've just never seen this whole, like, that's a real, once you, just so you know, once you start drinking alone, like, you're probably going to fucking kill yourself one way or another in, like, three months. Like, I don't know. One of my it. most favorite things to do when I used to drink is drink by myself and sing uh, Silver Chair over and over again. It's fucking cool. Fuck everybody. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly how I felt, too. And it's very freeing to be like, fuck everybody. You're singing Silver Chair over and over again. You're not even changing songs. What's wrong with you? I'm like, you know what? I don't care. Sure, there's something wrong with me, but goddamn, I love this song. Yeah, as long as you're having fun. It's not cares? even a good song. <laughs> I love it. It's the great thing about being drunk. It barely matters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to talk about this Adam Levine thing? Yeah, yeah, sure. It'll probably be... Well, I don't see how he's going to fix it. So but he what a weird guy. He denies the affair allegations, but admits he crossed a line in the wake of viral accusations he denies having affairs how do you if you deny the affair but you say that like what did what is it what is he admitting did okay he, did he took here's her what name? here's what he said a lot is being said about me right now and i want to clear the air i use poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner i did not have an affair Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period in my life and certain Shit. instances became inappropriate. Regret regrettable my ass. I have a dry yeah, I regret nothing. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. Yeah. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters. He didn't get a brain up. To me, <laughs> was the greatest mistake I could ever make. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. We will get through it, and we will get through it together. So Adam yeah. Levine has never cheated on his wife. I think he married her like five years ago. That's but the story. But he made some mistakes. Hey, we're only human. I admit I make some mistakes, but I didn't cheat. What is your mistake? He flirted. Fuck off. He was an emotional cheater. Yeah, nah. Nah, you fucked a In bunch of people because everybody wanted to fuck you, and you're yeah, a dude. Right. And yeah. he also, he's he's in that vein of like, when he was in high school, he was really goofy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there was no way he got any pussy in How high school. How do you school. know that? Um, he did those proactive commercials. Oh, uh, yeah, but he could have been lying. Isn't his I dad some big deal? I thought he grew up rich. I thought his dad oh, for was, real? was already a thing. Oh, never mind then. Because like when you, when, when you are that person, like you were a pizza face in high school, mm -hmm. nobody wanted to fuck you, you were a nerd, you got dunked on constantly... And now all of a sudden you're king shit, you're rich, you're cool, you're good looking, you're shredded. Like the options, the options will ruin a man like that. And sure, he's married to a supermodel, but if some fucking hot Instagram model starts flirting with you too. Well, from what I hear, if any of these girls are telling any facts, he kind of grosses on them first. Oh. Uh, yeah. I I know people make up stuff about celebrities. But it's not that hard to believe some of that. Putting you know? aside the he's famous, so girls are throwing themselves at him, and he's a good-looking, famous guy. What percentage of married men would you guess Two. cheat? Oh, sorry, I thought it didn't cheat. <laughs> if you're really hot, no, and no, you're no, a no. Rock put, star, it, put, put it, put it, yeah, put aside rock star hot. Just in in real life, what percentage of married men do you think cheat without permission? Half. You think it's that high? I think it's really probably 20% of the people that don't cheat, no matter what. Really? What do you think about women? Yeah. Do you think women cheat less, more, or equal? A little bit less. Okay. So you think somewhere between 50 and 70% of married people cheat? Yeah. Okay. Now, what about married men who go to the gym and 
monitor their diet enough that they still have a six pack when they're like 40. What percentage of those guys cheat? 90. <laughs> right. <laughs> so just take out the fact that he's Adam Levine. And just in the real world, if Adam Levine was in fucking Maroon 6 and nobody gave a shit, Adam Levine would still be fucking everybody out of the fucking pizza parlor he ran. Yep. That's what we think. That's what I think. Guys who stay super duper fit, like not a little bit real fit after they're married and have kids, some of them don't cheat. Mm -hmm. A small sum of them. Very small. Yeah. If everybody tries to sleep with you all the time, it's hard. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. You just want to give up one time. Sure. I also think like, and I'm not, this, I'm not saying this to justify it at all, but the nature of like what he's supposed to do as a songwriter is he writes about the game of love. That's how he has new hit songs. Yeah. It's like kind of weird. It's hard at a certain point to just be like drawing on the well of your high school girlfriend over and over again, you got to really still be fucking tasting what it feels like. When is she going to issue? When or- you've got the moves like Jagger, is that a love song? I got it's a moves. sexy song. Is it? I, I, I think- don't know any of the words except for I got the moves like Jagger. I got the moves like Jagger. I'm not sure it has other words. I imagine like women would find that to be a sexy song because it's a sexy guy yeah. talking about how he can dance. Yeah. yeah. Like, right. What is that? Is that song only about how he can dance like Mick Jagger or is there other things in it? I, I I literally. <laughs> He's like carved out his own little, like somewhere on the Kermit the Frog to Dave Matthews spectrum, sits John Mayer uh, and Adam Levine. Wow! All right, there's a part of it where he says, "Take me by the tongue, and I'll know you. Kiss till you're drunk, and I'll show you." Show you. you want the moves like Jagger. So it's probably porking. Right. Like I'm going to swivel my hips around like Mick Jagger when I'm boning you. Well, I think it like works on multiple, That's not good, by the on way. multiple levels. Like all great Maroon 5 songs do lyrically. It's like he's got the dance moves like Jagger. He's got the fuck moves like Jagger. He's got the social swagger moving through the room. He's got all the moves. He's making moves like Mick Jagger. But yes, fundamentally, it's about dancing, and dancing songs are always about fucking. Yeah. Like Prince songs. Half the songs are about fucking, and half the songs are about dancing, which is fucking. Right. Right. It's just one of those things. Like, if you marry a fucking Maroon 5, if you marry an Adam Levine, like, your life's going to be way better than the rest of ours, but he's going to be getting pussy on the side. It's almost one of those things you just have to come to terms with from the first date. There should be somebody who specializes in being like a pre-marriage counselor, counselor, like the same way when like kids get drafted into the NBA or the NFL and they like sit them down and try to teach them about like, don't waste all your money. And maybe it doesn't work. Maybe they're all still going to blow their money. But it's like, we've seen you a million times. We've seen you from the first check to the checks keep coming to the checks stopped to either you're broke or you're not. We know the whole life cycle of this and we can set you up for success now if you will only listen. There should be somebody that the record label or the management team sends in as soon as you have a hit song and you're already in a relationship or if you're successful and you meet the girl and you're really thinking about marriage like hey lady this is what it's going to be like because it's you know i remember that being a joke in like an adam sandler movie about like did you you know you need a prenup did you get it no that it's everybody knows you need it but when you're talking it's you and you're talking to the girl that's a real hard conversation they need the guy who's the fucking velvet hammer that is like here's the way it's gonna be this can be a great life if you understand what it is and if and if and if me having this conversation with you right now is making you want to leave, then you probably should, because that's where it's gonna go. Even like like I've heard um, Bono is supposed to be one of those people who's like actually been with the same girl for the whole time, and I think she actually like stayed fit, and she's like pretty fuckable for an old Irish chick. I <laughs> I don't know anybody, and I've heard stories about Bono, just like trying to fuck girls and and I, I, like I'm making up rock star names here and Adam Levine is like whoa Bono that's my wife yeah. fuck someone else he's like oh okay I do, 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 do. who yeah. else will I fuck <laughs> like, and he's one of the good ones he's one of the family men he's like the Tom Hanks of rock and roll 
That's what they do. Yeah. And it's fine if everybody's on board with it. Yeah, I saw something. It was like one of the the headlines that just keeps coming out about this that she's accusing him of saying, um, is it okay if I use your name for this upcoming baby? Yeah, that's the thing that I brought up, that he did name it's he named his son after a girl that he fucked. Or oh, or, was, or allegedly had a year long affair with. Yeah. Oh, had fucked whatever. Yeah. That he named the son he had with his wife after the girl he was fucking. Oh, I thought it was the 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 bun in the the current bun in the oven. No, so he wants to name the kid. He did ask her when it was in the oven. Yeah. Okay. He called the girl and said, "Hey, I hope you don't think this is weird, but I'm thinking about naming my son after your name." That's what we're hearing. Yeah. Whether that's, it's true or not is. That's kind of a move like Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Like 1966 <laughs> statutory rape. Woohoo! Yeah. You know the mum's gonna love calling the kid that name for the rest of her life now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Right. Yeah, what an asshole. But you know, does that surprise me? No. Stuff crust would never do that. Yeah. What's his name again? He's a family man. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Gwen Stefani, Blake, Blake Colton. Yeah, Blake Bolton. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Colton Farton. <laughs> Fart pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. It's okay if we name our baby Stuffed Crust. Yeah. Fucking douches. <laughs> They're all so douchey. Can we name him QAnon Parmesan? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what a great show, you guys. <laughs> so good. Yeah. yeah, I like this show. If you guys like the show too, you could listen to more shows on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Mate, where we do two two-hour shows a week, and I do two one-hour shows a week. So that's six hours of content uh, for $5. You know, Or you can spend more and watch it on video. So, But there you go. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for supporting us. Um, stay in school. Don't die. You want more Jason Ellis show? Sign up for their Patreon at patreon.com slash ellismate for a two-hour show every Tuesday and Wednesday. To watch full episodes of the Jason Ellis show, subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash the Jason Ellis show. And don't forget to follow the crew on Instagram at Wolfmate, at Tollywood, at Kevin Craft, at Underwearwolf, and at the Jason Ellis Show. Bye.